Got the address? We can go round after a nice cup of tea. Don't get too comfortable, Watson. We're leaving immediately. <laughs> what did I just pick up? What was I doing at that table? Let's look at them. Let's go visit Judge Beckett. the front of Judge Beckett's property. It's enormous. It looks very luxurious, Holmes. This man has conducted his career brilliantly. Who says that crime doesn't pay? It all <laughs> depends upon for whom. You never said a truer word, Watson. Now let's try to find a way in. What's that package you are carrying, Holmes? You haven't said a word about it all the way here. Yes, yeah, Cakes for my old aunt. <laughs> Your old aunt? Stop pulling my leg, Holmes. If you want a sensible answer, then you should ask a sensible question. Very well. I'm going to ring the doorbell. That should be an appropriate task for someone like me. <laughs> no, leave it. I'll do it. Uh. Okay, then. How far can I go? Oh, hey, look. Look at it. Look, look, look. <laughs> Why is that unlocked? Come on now. I can't go there. Oh, he doesn't even say it. It just doesn't let you go. Shadows on the trees. Holy cow. That looked weird. Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson. How nice to see you again. Do you remember me? Of course, Miss oh, Lucy. Lucy. How could anyone forget what? so pretty a smile? You are looking lovely. Watson, we have things to do. Holmes, <laughs> you remember Lucy? We met her during our last investigation in Whitechapel, on the trail of Jack the Ripper. I remember only the essential details of the case. This brief meeting has been very pleasant, but sadly, I must leave you, my dear Lucy. I'll see you soon, Doctor. Well, she's selling flowers now. How nice. Bank is closed. And already. Well, we're going to ring the doorbell, refuse entrance, and we'll go around the back and start sleuthing our way through Closed. there. Closed. No reply. The house seems empty. Shall we wait, Holmes? Nope. No. We shall enter discreetly. The judge's absence is a blessing. It means that we can investigate without being disturbed. You're thinking of breaking into the judge's house? Have you gone mad, Holmes? Don't worry. I shall be careful to remove any traces of our visit. Listen to yourself, Holmes. You're talking like a common criminal. <laughs> right on in. This lock should be easy to pick. Let's see. Right. I need a supple pin, Watson. Can you find me one? Very well, Holmes. Pin. Um... Lucy. Lucy, you got some explaining to do. I have a pen. Ah, oh, Lucy, you have <laughs> no idea how heartlifting it is to meet you here like this, particularly at this time. Tell me what you've been doing. You've become a florist. Oh, yes, Doctor, I am a florist. And I'm married now with beautiful little twin girls. Congratulations, Lucy. Enough about me. Can I help you with something? A pretty bouquet, perhaps? Not at the moment, Lucy. I really need a supple metal stem. A plant prop should do. Oh, I see. Is it to open a door or a window? <laughs> Aha, Lucy. You are a surprising lady. Let's just say that the lock on the door to my flat gets stuck, and I should like to get in through the window. In that case, a prop wouldn't work. Better to use a hair grip. 
It's the ideal tool for an honest man who wants to get into his house without going in through the door. <laughs> you are wonderful, Lucy. Goodbye, Doctor. Thank you, Lucy. Pleasant. She knows exactly what we're doing, because of course she does. I want to know what's in the box. What's in the box? Oh, hey, this it's back. Wait, it, we're back. It's back. I forget how to do this. the kitchen. There's enough room to feed a dozen people in here. Yes, according to the newspaper, the judge's wife also feeds her pupils, in addition to teaching them. I control Sherlock home. Cooking oil. Bread. There is something interesting here. Yeah. Oh. An ore lock. This isn't the place for it. All right. Got potatoes again. This classroom is magnificent. These children are very lucky. Yeah, they are. Can you hear that small metallic sound? There is something inside there. A present from Lord Benegrad to Miss Beckett as a keepsake of this blessed day of your marriage. I am missing some information. There is some connection between cities and numbers on top of the box, but I lack the necessary information to obtain the solution. Yeah. It has something to do with the day of our marriage, obviously. My love, I am leaving this. This is a letter from Judge Beckett. I am leaving you this note for you to find as soon as you return home. I will likely not be here when you get back, for I become involved in an extremely important affair, and it is this of which is the cause of my recent absences. Seeing the nature and impact of my current inquiry, I must obtain an interview with the Prime Minister without further delay. The security of the country itself is at stake, but please do not be alarmed, my dear. Enjoy your trip with your pupils. And speaking of pupils, it would seem that one of them has taken two of my orlocks. You know how much I l these souvenirs mean to me. They represent the greatest triumph of my youth in the New York Boat Race Championship. I should be grateful if you could do everything possible to find them. I also noticed that the sweet cupboard has been vandalized. I have always supported you in your adventure and your humanitarian work, and I know how difficult it is to break the bad habits which these three children have picked up. Perhaps you should teach them to respect other people's property before teaching them to read. This is a photo of the judge and his wife. As is this. this photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. Oh. Okay. Can I? The most romantic evening of my life in the heat of Bombay. The clock points to 6 p.m. Interesting. The judge got married in London, and early in the morning, as it is just 10 a.m. How do I... Oh, can I even...
Oh. Perfect. Yep. And then the other one was six and Bombay. Which I got wrong. Bombay is over here. Oh, wait a minute. No, if it's going to 24, that means that's uh, going to be 18. Perfect. Yes. Because it was in 24. There we are. It is simplicity itself. A key. Yes. Letter from Lord... Benegrad, my dear daughter, by marrying Lord Beckett, you have made me a happy father. What better husband could I wish for? My only daughter, none. Lord Beckett is an honest man who believes in justice. He's also honorable and incorruptible, a rare quality indeed. When I recall my initial reticence at allowing you to depart for India, I regret my parental protectiveness. For I have come to admire your perseverance and your strong will. For indeed, it is your kindness and your dedication towards the destitute children that leads you to voluntary work in those dilapidated orphanages in Bombay. And it is equally this altruistic engagement that led you to meet the man who, is, who was destined to become your husband. If you had listened to your stubborn old father, you would have never left England and you would have never have met Lord Beckett. Now that you're back in England and your husband has set up a schoolroom for you in his house... I hope to see more of you. When you read this letter, you should have received a small gift from me in honor of your return. I know of your love for travel. This mechanical planisphere, created by the best craftsman cabinet maker in London, should please you. It is a type of safe. I ask for the combination to be personalized. You will easily remember it. Your loving father. This woman is admirable. As she was unable to have children of her own, she decided to care for hundreds of others. That's a pretty fish. This screw is stuck. It is preventing the picture from turning. The blackboard shows the last lesson given to the children. Ancient Greek. This screw... Oh my goodness. trying to fit what one two three four five three six nine ten twelve there's thirteen of them select the empty spaces down there. Yeah, but no. Like the task, find a logical sequence in Roman numerals using all the available shafts. None of the numbers should be greater than 10. Each sum must be larger than the previous one. You can only use number X only once. So this plus three has to be less than this, and then less than this, and then less than this. This must be the most expensive one.
but I can only... Alright. What can I do? Use all of them. One plus three would be four. So this has to be five or greater. At least. But would that make it so... I, wow, I'm going to have to use all of them. Neat! Alright, this is cool. So I suppose I could do three, four... Six, seven, that's five, six, seven, eight. That would not leave me with enough. So let's cut this down. Make five. Six. Simply make this then. Four. Five. And make this. Right? Would that not have worked, maybe? Oh, you know what? What did I have over here? Oh. Can't do this right now. I might be, um, make a, yeah, it's six. I should probably also. The door. Ha the door. Ha door handles are missing. Oh my God. Thank you. Oh, you're right. That was minus, wasn't it? God damn it. Yes! I'm an idiot. <laughs> minus, not plus. That's what I messed up. Didn't I pick up... A desire to cook. Why wasn't I able to pick that up before? I thought I had that in my... Wait, hold on then. Greek letters. Copy them down, dear fellow. Very well, Holmes.
So I'm gonna have to do something with the the Greek letters. Man, this entire the classroom is like just a book about student organizations in the United States of America. Chock full. Yeah, I gotta do that. What's this? Oh. James. This overall belongs to the young James. Sweet papers fallen from a pupil's overall pocket. Well, we know which one's been hitting the, the sweets. James here. Now, are there names on these desks? No, I guess not. This plan is useless. This plan is useless. <laughs> okay. This plan. Sheesh. Oh, wait. This plan. No. Okay. 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 Hockey duck. All right. One more crack. One more. One more. All right. Two. Five. Six. This has to make seven somehow. Two plus three is five. Three plus three is six. Ten minus three is seven. Oh, whoops. <laughs> six plus three is nine. Sequential, right? Oh, none of the numbers should be greater than 10. I didn't do that, right? No, I didn't. You can only use Roman numeral 10 once. Did it again. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. Why does this not work? Use all the blocks like I have. I have seven twice? Oh, you're right. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Or nine. Did it have to be like specifically in a certain spot? Yeah, like
Perfect. An orlock. I did just do six, seven, eight, nine. I wonder if that's what they meant by logical sequence. That's what I just made it do. I made it go in order there. The door. There is no point in visiting the upper floors. We know from the newspapers that this building is deserted, so there is no risk of anyone coming down and surprising us. That's the front door. This room is undoubtedly... Th it would be better not to force this door, nor... You're right, but he surely must have... Oh, wait. I have the... <laughs> I have the key. We are in the judge's private office, Holmes. What are you going to do? Turn everything upside down? Yep. No, he's going to put the package in. That is a distinct possibility. I will not leave until I have found what I am looking for. Don't forget your cakes when we leave, Holmes. Of course, Watson. No, he's leaving them there. Whatever that... An orlock. It must be a souvenir. Oh, hey. There's more than two. Why did I only assume there would be two? Beckett. Honorary member. This must be the symbol of an organization to which the judge belongs. Look at this symbol. It must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. Put the picture back! A souvenir from the University of New York. That's the university where Judge Beckett studied. The judge used to row. The young Beckett and his friends rowing. They say there are going to be like four or six or eight Orlocks, I guess. Blind justice. From whence his ignorance. Amusing. Whoa. This door is very... Sp the best thing to do. I can make out a mechanism at the bottom of each of these holes. I can make out. I can make. I can make out. These ore. Watson, this really is the most ingenious system. It controls the opening mechanism. Very ingenious. But do we need to enter? Judge Beckett is very rich, and the room perhaps only holds valuable objects which he wishes to protect from thieves. Doors are made to be opened, my dear fellow. I am missing. Oh, okay. Can't I am again. missing. This gentleman certainly likes oars, to the point of exhibiting them in his office. Oh, the list of symbols of the American universities. God. Oh wait, I have the information. University of New York. Uh, a Greek letter. That's new. The list of sim. I am missing some... Yeah, you are. Something's not right. Okay, we'll come back. Nothing but trophies. The judge must be very proud of them. This is a hell of a nice multi-puzzle here. It's like everything within the entire building at the moment is being used to get into that door. Nothing of interest here. A Habano Clarissimo cigar. 
Well, we knew we were going to find that here. Joker who has over the sweet cupboard's door handle, please return it without delay. If the handle is back in its place before the end of the week, no one will be punished. If not, I will be obliged to place the whole class in detention. Lady Beckett. There are naughty children in every school, from what I can see. Please take note, Watson. We are making headway. How do we know what this means? Hmm, that's that's something for the the puzzle over there. Is this... Oh, wait a minute. This... Like... Sweet. We... This plan... That... Mm. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Wait. Okay, so hold on. Handles being hidden. Is it in one of the kids' desks here? And he keeps saying his plan is useless, so not a clue. Alright, well, let's go back in here. Check this out. Oh, you know what? Yeah, um, trash can. I have a bad habit of not looking like up, up or down or both. Yeah, see, there's one, but. Search the jacket to the point where it's giving me a green magnifying glass, which means there's nothing else with it. Nothing else in here. Let's go back and take a look at the... Uh, this if that was an extra and it was it looks like yeah I'm missing one more piece of information and it's gonna come from that cabinet this note must surely be very important to judge Beckett hi join the best fraternity our success is constant it's Pi. Pi is the second one and new must be the third one not like I really missing. it's not even letting me put them in without finishing <sighs> where are the damn handles it has absolutely something to do with Steven's jacket
Or this, like, I'm... Uh, Sweets wrapper. Can't like this wait. over. This overall belongs to the unchained. Why is this useless? This plan is useless. I can inspect. Okay. It's a sweet box, probably for rewarding good pupils. One of the Greek books is open, perhaps the subject of the last lesson. Everything points to someone who does not wish us to open this cabinet, which is a good enough reason for opening it. Well, the young James has stolen the handle to the sweet cupboard so that he can pilfer it whenever he likes. If we find his desk, we will find the handle. I don't think I realized I could move the magnifying glass around on the door because I just the door ha just the did door that like four times in a row and didn't move the... It's a plan of the classroom. <sighs> Thanks to this plan, we will know which desk belongs to James. It is important to make our children feel responsible, giving them small tasks. Ensure, if possible, to assign a task based on the physical and intellectual capabilities of the child. The row leaders are represented by a flag. Others have a small image that corresponds to their task. For practical lessons together, the children are grouped four to a table. Hey, I'm in there, look. Aaron has suddenly grown, so I put him at the back behind Fergus, who's as tall as him. <laughs> oh, neat. That's a lot of kids. All right. Row leader, kitchen line, Taylor. An empty place on his right. Row leader. He's one of these flag kids. Simon is on James's left. Toss them both in. Pierce is one of those children who takes a little time to accept the rules. But he is a nice boy and I like him very much. Put a stop to any problems by putting him near my desk behind Anastasia and next to little Elmer who is very mature for his age. That's her desk up there. Behind Anastasia, next to little Elmer. So, very pretty and doll like. Very well educated. She's having a little event to help her integrate. She sits on the left of Ophelia. Safe from his wretched life, he was working in textile factory and had lost the use of his right hand. Ouch. He's one of the brightest in the class. I always put him on the left side of a table and allow him to write comfortably with his left hand. Okay. He's on one of these left rows. Let's go to Charles. Then waiting for the glasses I ordered for him because of that he needs to sit in the light and close to the board. I changed his and his neighbor Eddie's places.
Jasper is often sick. See him close to the kitchen. I wonder if that could go over here. The Jasper could go up there with other kids. Mark is such a good boy, you can sit with anyone, alright. Blackboard cleaning. Fergus, which, uh... Let's call that the blackboard cleaning. Rose and Louisa are writing a novel together in secret. I let them sit together to encourage this beautiful little secret. This teacher is cool. Louisa will be in charge of the older children's books. That way she will have access to all the books. Boom! Oh, so good. All right. Simon is on James's left. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Somebody cares, cares for the plants. Bro leader. Alyssa and Talia are together. Did I put Talia somewhere? There she is. Lewis has good eyesight. Put him at the back behind Fergus. The row leader, window row. Orson is captivated by Anastasia. His neighbor, Bart. Ooh. There we go. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Alyssa and Talia are... Oh, caring for plants. There we go. Orson sitting here, maybe. Mm. There wasn't like a book in one of these. Oh, oh, there we go. Bart is here. And that means, no. Isn't that the kitchen over there?
Yeah, I... I... I would have got it without even right. remembering to split Let's the red and blue James's up. Desk. If it was getting to that point, I would have been very, very close. It's a plan Where's James? Of the there he is. That was a nice little... I like that kind of puzzle a lot. That was good. Perfect. Door handles. And here we go. We got it all. I am missing. No, you're not missing anything now. Eternity symbol is the one with pie in the middle. There isn't one. The list of symbols of the. All right. So University of New York had that purple shield, the green circly thing, the red shield, and the blue shield. Red shield. There's the red shield. The green one. The bluish one. Enzy Pie. Yep. Except, what the hell is this now? Oh. Oh my god, I had to make the... This is awkward to do. Because the cursor is just like abysmally difficult to use. and masses of files. Holmes, these files, these cards, these reports, they're all about you. Oh, of course they are. Wonderful. So it would seem. Your whole career is mapped out here, investigation by investigation. Look, a detailed report about your work in Whitechapel during the Ripper affair. And there, your relationship with a certain A. Lupin. And here, the details of your methods and transcriptions of your conversations with the greatest violent criminals. My God, look at the titles of the files. Fraud, deception, corruption, forgery, murder. What does it all mean? Judge don't like me very much. That's what it means. Quiet. Let me concentrate. Concentrate? This judge has the reputation of being the most honest in the kingdom, and he has built an overwhelming pile of documents as high as Big Ben about you, and you talk of concentration? To open his chest, to what end? Quiet. Holmes, answer me. No, Watson. What is the real Shh. reason for our being here? Did you know what we were going to find before we came here? Evidently. So that is the real reason behind this break-in. You're only interested in the contents of the chest. All the rest of it was nothing more than lies and manipulation. The most important is the one in the chest, Watson. Oh boy. Also, every time you hear me take like a, a basically an empty drink from this, you can't really see it. This is called a blender bottle. basically got a wire can't really see it can you little wire uh, ball that's in there makes it really easy to shake stuff up with it um, and I also just got water all over my desk because it wasn't quite empty thankfully 
It's dressed in a diaper <laughs> because it condensates like horribly, it sweats. All right, we're going overtime. I'd really, uh, I should have been. Oh my god! Group the balls by color, one color per square. I gotta get the blues out. Yeah, Eagle. <laughs> you see what we're up against right here? There. I have what I came for. Show me the file, Holmes. It is unnecessary, Watson. It's a file about you, isn't it? Is it so compromising that you don't dare show it to me? You came here to steal the research about you carried out by Judge Beckett, Holmes. It was the only thing that interested you. We'll see about that later. We must put everything back in its place. No one must know that we've been here. Help me. Go and put the paddles back into their original position and I'll deal with the rest. Quick, Watson, we must get out of this house. Immediately. What? But... Be quick, man, it's urgent. Because of you, we have to flee like common criminals, which it seems we have now become. I only hope that the game is worth the risk. 
Show me the file right now. Let's find a cab as quickly as possible. We can't stay here. Why are you in such a hurry? You... Wait! Look over there! Judge Beckett! Yes, it's him! Let's go and talk to him! No! It's too late. Do as you wish, Holmes, but I need to hear an explanation about what was in that armored room. I'm going. No, stay here. That's an order. Your giving orders changes nothing. I'm going to talk to Judge Beckett, and you will not stop me. I knew it. Oh my god, I knew it. Watson. Watson. Are you all right? My god. What happened? You have got Lucy. to be killing me. Or, oh, uh, Lucy. No, Sherlock is killing me. I Are you do something. me? Holmes, I need your help here. What the fuck? Forgive me, Watson, but I'm afraid that I must leave now. Leave? What the devil do you mean? Holmes, come back here! Holmes! Holmes, <laughs> are you here? Show yourself! Oh, no one. Shit. Perhaps it is just as well. I don't know what my reaction to him would have been. How dreadful. The poor Miss Lucy hanging